The great thing about science is that it never claims to have all the answers, but it will spend the whole time looking for them. However, despite this constant quest for knowledge, there are many fundamental things we do not understand about ourselves and the world around us. Did you know that we still lack a definitive explanation for what life actually is? It's true! As you watch our video on today's biggest mysteries in science. Starting at number 4, How Did Life Begin? The mystery of how life began on Earth has puzzled scientists ever since they stopped giving God all the credit. The earliest identified life forms existed 3.7 billion years ago, based on traces of fossilized cyanobacteria found in Greenland. But these organisms are biologically complex, so something simpler must have come before them. We have found hints that life existed 4.1 billion years ago, but this has yet to be confirmed. So, until we know what the first life form was, we'll struggle to know exactly how it began to exist. The theories we have at the moment include life being transported here by a comet, forming around deep sea vents, or being made by bolts of lightning which created amino acids and sugars from elements in the atmosphere. However, one of the most promising leads concerns the formation of RNA, which works in many similar ways to DNA. We think RNA-based organisms may have preceded our DNA-based world, and a team of German researchers think they've figured out how RNA may have formed. If their theory is correct, we'll know how life begins not just on this planet, but on all planets like ours. Although it should be noted that such a discovery wouldn't be the end of the line, because then we've got another tough question to answer. What is life? At 3. What is life? Sounds like this should be a really easy question to answer, but what we call life is not easily definable, because the lines between something that's alive and not alive are pretty blurry. Also, do we have a word for something that isn't alive? Dead doesn't work, because a rock can't be dead if it's never been alive. So, I think I'll use the word merp. Theoretical cat torturer Erwin Schrodinger defined life as something which resists entropy, decay, and disorder by using nutrients. However, this means that many merp objects could be defined as being alive such as crystals, which use energy to form complex structures within themselves. Okay, so how about something that can take in energy and use it to move or expand? Well, that doesn't work, because hot air balloons do that, cars do that, and my checking accounts overdraft definitely does that. Another definition pegs life as something which reproduces. But many organisms reproduce in ways that are so different they cannot possibly be considered the same process. Viruses reproduce. Are they alive? Scientists aren't sure, because they require host cells to survive. This makes them almost like a self-replicating computer code, or an out-of-control fire. And nobody would say those things are alive. They are most definitely merps. The lack of a definition poses a problem when we try to look for life on other planets. Because for all we know, we've already seen the signs of life. We just didn't realize it. Because of this realization, scientists have started to expand our definition of life to include more things. So who knows? Maybe one day nothing will be merp, and everything from rocks and candy corn through to hydrogen and plastic will all be considered alive. And that will be the very same day that all vegans will starve. Number 2. What is the universe made of? If you could buy the universe in a supermarket, and it came in a packet loaded with nutritional information, what would the ingredient label say? 
planets, stars, life. Yes, but these things only make up about 5% of the universe, with the remaining 95% unknown. Can you imagine buying a sandwich that was 95% mystery? This 95% is made up of dark energy and dark matter, but we don't know what either of these things are because they're both invisible. Dark energy might be one of the basic properties of space itself, driving space-time apart using negative pressure. And if we can analyze it further, we may understand how the universe was created in the first place, as well as what it'll look like in the future. Dark matter is another matter entirely. Literally. This intriguing invisible stuff makes up 84% of all matter. It does not emit or absorb light. And we only know of its existence due to its gravitational effects on the things we can observe like stars, radiation, and geese. We know that there's a huge amount of dark matter lurking around the edge of our universe. And we also think that the Earth may be spewing out huge invisible streams of dark matter in every direction. Yet still, it's proving very difficult to figure out exactly how dark matter works, where it comes from, and what it would do if we ate some. And in at number one, why does time move forward? According to physics, there is no particular reason why any one event should not happen in reverse. You should be able to unbreak a leg. You should be able to ungrow a tree. You should be able to unwatch the final episode of Dexter and pretend it never happened. But you can't. So why is that? Entropy, we think. The second law of thermodynamics says that any isolated system will naturally move towards entropy or disorder as time moves on. For example, if you took a hot whiz into a glass of cold milk, eventually the whiz and milk would merge to become lukewarm whizzy milk. But at no point will the two substances separate back into their hot whiz and cold milk states, however long you wait. Because of this, we think the universe started with a low amount of entropy that's gradually increasing as time moves forward, having begun with the Big Bang. But we don't know why entropy was low to begin with, or how such a large amount of energy came to be squashed into a small space. And we're also unsure what happens when the universe expands to a point where time should stop working. Will the universe, life, and all things cease to exist? Or will the big crunch occur and make time move backwards? Maybe. Maybe not. We see time moving forwards and time moving backwards as two opposite but equal things. However, researchers at Griffith University believe otherwise. They claim to have identified subtle differences between the way certain subatomic particles behave depending on the direction of time. And their research indicates that some small behaviors on the quantum level are responsible for pushing time's arrow forward. If true, we would have to completely rework our understanding of time. And it may also help us to understand whether outlandish concepts like backwards time travel are actually possible. So those are four big mysteries which science is still getting to grips with today. But are there any mysteries which have been solved already that the general public doesn't know about? You can find out in our bonus video, Solved Scientific Mysteries, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. This can be accessed by becoming a Patreon and signing up for a bonus video access at $2 per month, which also allows you to help us decide what videos to make, find out which topics are in the pipeline, and ask the Strange Mysteries team any questions you might have about our work, our lives, or our checkered sexual past. Patreon has become necessary, since amidst the chaos of advertisers ditching YouTube due to a few nasty videos, all other creators like us are having our arms twisted to make ad-friendly content. But we'd rather make videos about the things that interest you, and our ability to do this relies on you. For $2 a month, we can provide awesome bonus content for each video. 
And eventually, with your support, we can go fully ad-free and dedicate our full videos to just the juiciest ideas packed full of the most mind-blowing content we can find. If you can afford it, our Patreon page can be found at this link here in the upper right with the exclamation mark circle, description box, or you can visit patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries and sign up there. If you cannot donate, then it's cool. We still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video on four bizarre scientific experiments happening right now.